said, oh, you brood of vipers. So it is in that context, the context of John identifying this group of people as what? Brood of vipers. That he began to tell them that, um, you see me doing this, there is someone coming, mightier than I. Huh? That the, the testimony of my baptism is to bring men onto repentance, such a way that the kind of life that they had before eh, will be abandoned. But he's trying to tell them that there is a layer higher than bringing repentance. Hmm? And that one is by the admi Listen, listen, listen. Are you with me? Follow me, follow me. Are you with me? If you are with me, say amen. Yeah. There is one thing that is synonymous, common between John and Jesus. And that is baptism. Now, I think that the first thing we need to analyze in this, at this point now is what is baptism? Baptism is um, a system through which you bring somebody into an experience. I don't know. Some of you might be, have gone to campus. Probably you were a courtist when you were in campus. You cannot be a member of a court without passing through a baptism. Even though you don't know that, maybe they don't, they don't call it baptism in your own context. But what they do is called baptism. That means that there are certain aspects of that court you will never experience eh? until you are baptized into it. It is when you are baptized into it, you begin to speak their language. You begin to have, are you with me? Relate with them, do certain kind of things. No matter how you walk around, around them, they know you are not one of them. Are you getting my point? I was speaking to, because we have interacted with a few. Huh? No matter how much, even if you are doing like this, working with them, even all that, the rival courts know that you are not one of these ones. So, if things are happening, they will not, more or less, they will not disturb you. Or rather, they will not try to attack you because they, they, can't, they can't get any point doing anything to you. Those days we are in campus, they, they call it score. That these people are, are doing, they are, they are it's two one. If they do anything to you, it doesn't add to the score. Are you getting the point? Because you are not part. And the reason why you are not part is because you have not been baptized. The instrument of baptism differs. Eh? But the concept of baptism is a feature that can be identified from the Old Testament to the end of the New Testament. So the scripture began to make reference to what happened with Moses. And he said that the children of Israel were baptized into who? He said that they were baptized into Moses. And I said, uh -uh. So you need to know that even in the Old Testament, that baptism is a concept. It will mean that everybody that was there in the wilderness, God identified them as one man. Which is why a point came. God told Moses, he said, come out of the way. Let me kill these people and raise another generation from you. Because as far as God is concerned, Moses is equal to one nation. If you have me, say amen. Oh. amen. Hmm. Huh? It's a concept. It's an eternal concept. Hmm? When you are baptized into a man, baptized into a thing, you begin to function by that thing. Your identification from henceforth is based on what that um, baptism has imparted on you. So the Bible said in the book of Help me, Holy Ghost. I, I think Romans. Is it Romans or Galatians? Okay, Galatians. I think Galatians chapter 2 or 3, the last verse there, last two verses. It said, That he that is baptized into Christ has put on Christ. Now, this is a testimony that the man that is writing the book of Galatians is speaking about male. Because he said in Christ there is no male, there is no female, there is no this, there is no that. But he that is baptized into Christ has put on Christ. That means the baptism made us to identify differently. So when a man is baptized into a court, he is identified by that court. When you are baptized into Christ, you are identified by the surname you now have. You are now surnamed 
by Christ. Follow me. Follow me. Listen. So the man that, John said, the man that told me to go to the wilderness said I should stay there and be baptized. That baptism will be the instrument of identifying the man that is the Messiah. Are you getting the point? So, you see, so baptism is an instrument of identification. If you have not um, been baptized into a thing, it is not assumed that you have identified with that thing a spirit. You see, there is a spirit of a thing, and the spirit of a thing is not what is manifest. It is what you carry. Hmm? That is why the Bible said that the unity of the believers is in the spirit. If four of us gather together and say we are one now, you know it's possible we are not one. If we gather together, what we have is a union. A union can turn to a unity, but a union is not the same thing as unity. Hmm? Unity is of the spirit. It will mean that um, you can be in Lagos. Another, another person can be in U.S. But in the spirit, we are one. We are pursuing the same thing. We are energized by the same thing. Are you getting this? Are you getting the point? So, we might come. We have not agreed on different matter, but we know that once we start praying and pressing into God, we are shooting the same goal. 